believe from reading your research and, the, and um, what you've put out there, uh, the personal fat threshold can vary from person to person. So one person, well, maybe you can explain that to them. Yes, this is something that's really important to understand. <clears throat> because type 2 diabetes is usually regarded as being due to obesity. Mm -hmm. Now, that's wrong. It is wrong. Just look at people who are merry and fat, say who had a BMI over uh, 35, 75% of them do not have diabetes. Mm. So most fat people don't have diabetes. On the other hand, if we look at the proportion of people who are not obese in the UK developing diabetes, it's over 50%, just over 50%. Mm. Most of those are overweight, but some are technically normal weight. Mm. Now, what is this normal business? Well, BMI of 25. But you know as well as I do that frame size varies. Some yeah. people with a BMI of 25 are fairly rounded, mm. whereas other people with a BMI of 25 would look positively wasted. Mm. So we've got to realise that BMI is not a good measure. From what we know now about the causes of type 2 diabetes as a result of this work, it's quite clear that type 2 diabetes never develops unless a person has more fat in their body than they can cope with. Okay. So it's not a total uh, measure of BMI being such and such. If someone gets type 2 diabetes, the writing's on the wall. It's very clear for all to see that they've got too much fat on board mm. and they need to shed some of that. And as an illustration of that, one of the very first people who came along to me said, I want to get rid of my diabetes, just at the very start of this, when I was just thinking through the ideas and setting up the hypothesis, I told this person what to do and they did it. Their body mass index went down from 24 to about 19, and I can tell you that 11 years later, they still have no diabetes. Hmm. So this is long term, and this is something that's irrespective of BMI. There are, some, there are some other issues around this. People of other ethnicities, especially South Asians, will get diabetes at a much lower BMI, but right. that's just because of ethnic factors. So uh, an Asian person will tend to have the same metabolic risk for a Caucasian BMI of 30 when they've got only to 25. Right. So they just tend to put fat down in the central part of the body, inside the organs, more easily than Caucasians do. And there are interesting reasons why that might have evolved that way. But the fact of the matter is, BMI, it doesn't much matter. What matters is, if you've got type 2, you're too heavy for your body. Right. Okay. That's great.